has built a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and fault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall in divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong and true.
we seek mirth and beauty and music light and gay. Their frail forms sing by the door. Though their voices are silent, their pleading looks will say, Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a song.
Good morning. Welcome to Worship at Leap of Faith Church. I'm Virgie Holbrook. I'm the pastor of the church, and it is great to be here with you on this Sunday morning, the last Sunday morning in, in January. If you haven't checked in yet, would you, would you use the column over here to do that? Leave your name, the names of those worshiping with you, just right here in this check-in column. It's useful to you in other ways, too. If you're not receiving our Thursday evening newsletter by way of email, go all the way down to the bottom of that column. Leave your email address on the form there. We'll be sure that we add you to the newsletter list so that you can begin to receive that. And if you'd like to support ministry, here at Leap of Faith Church with an offering. Go all the way to the top of that column. There's a giving button there. It's really easy to use and it's tremendous help to have your support of ministry here of all we're doing here at Leap of Faith. There are other ways, of course, to give as well. The text to give button 903-225-8774. Uh, put that into your phone and just follow the instructions. You can always give through PayPal on our newsletter or you can just write Write a check to Leap of Faith, to Leap of Faith Church. Put it in an envelope and mail it to us at 5615 North Farm to Market, 1417 Sherman, Texas, 75095. And please know how very much your support means. We're grateful, grateful for, all, grateful for all you have done and all that you are doing to make ministry here at Leap of Faith possible. We have a few announcements. Uh, today is Membership Reaffirmation Sunday. Today, too, we have a very special guest. Kyle Powell will be, will be preaching this Sunday. He is a candidate for the position of associate pastor, the, the opening that you've been hearing so much about. We're glad to have Kyle here to uh, begin to get to know us and for us to begin to get to know him to see whether... Uh, whether Leap of Faith is a match for him, whether he is a match for Leap of Faith. I know that you will enjoy hearing, hearing Kyle preach this morning. Uh, we have next Sunday leadership appreciation and consecration, both at 9.30 online and at 11 o'clock in the sanctuary. As members of our board of directors are, are thanked for their service and new members welcomed onto our board of directors. Please take note in the newsletter this week of Have a Heart Sunday coming up for all the Sundays in February. More to come about that next Sunday. And of course, if you'll like our Facebook page, uh, remember we have a website, mylofc.org too. Those are two good ways to keep up with all that's happening here at Leap of Faith Church. Thank you again for being here this morning. I invite you to participate in our call to worship by remembering. Remember that you are loved, you are wanted here at Leap of Faith Church. You are loved and you are wanted by our Lord Jesus Christ. We are loved. We are wanted by our Lord Jesus Christ. He is at work with us, among us, for us, day by day by day helping us become one body, his body, his church, serving and celebrating together, working and worshiping together. And now will you continue to worship with the music of the Leap of Faith Band. Yes, we're the church. 
church together. Sometimes the church is marching, sometimes it's bravely burning, sometimes writing, sometimes lighting, always it's learning. There's singing and there's praying, there's laughing and there's crying, sometimes all have it saying. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church, together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church, together. A Leap of Faith is an independent church. We're not associated with any other local church. We're not associated with any other denomination. In our first days together as a church, we adopted as our own statement of faith the historic confession of the Christian faith, the Apostles' Creed. I invite you to join with me as the words to that creed appear on our screen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he descended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. And now take a moment, if you would, to think back over the week just past. Name those things that, um, that popped up that interfered with your relationship with God, the relationship that you want to have with God. Name those to yourself. Be clear about them. And now let's pray. God, the Bible tells us that since the day, the very day you created humans, our relationships with each other have been difficult. We want God to live with, with others peacefully, respectfully, and lovingly, but some of your people, God, they present us with seemingly impossible challenges to achieve this. Forgive us when we stop trying. Give us the will to start over again with troubled, troubling relationships, asking your help, following your guidance. Please, God, hear this prayer and hear, too, our silent prayers of confession as we name before you those things that are standing in the way of the relationship we'd most like to have with you. Please be sure that when we've confessed in the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're forgiven, and so am I. Amen. Joys and concerns today. I ask your prayers as I do every Sunday for those who, leave our, who lead our world, our country, our community, our churches. Would you pray as well for all those who are suffering from health-related concerns? There are a number of people in our community, uh, in our community, who are ill with COVID, uh, getting better from COVID, who are concerned about getting COVID. Please be in prayer for all those who are being affected by this disease. I ask your prayers as well for Abel, Dakota, Paul, Kristen, Neil, Heidi, Jewel, Pat, Dassey, Mike, Ronnie, and Laurie. All these people have health concerns. Pray as well for those who serve in the military of our country. Especially remember Tyler, Jessica, Jordan, Devin, and Clayton. I ask your continuing prayers for Steve Robinson and his family and the recent death of his father, Joe. We have a number of birthdays coming up this week. This very day, Kelly Rouse has a birthday. Kelly, if you are there today, happy birthday. February 1st, Marilyn Livingston is celebrating. February 5th, Shane Greer is celebrating a birthday. And also on February 5th, Lena Pine has a birthday. If you know any of these people, take a minute to pick up the phone and wish them a happy birthday. It would mean the world to them. 
We have other joys as well. Of course, having Kyle Powell here with us to preach an enormous joy. We're thanking God as well for Mike Goldsworthy, our slingshot recruiter, who was responsible for, for making the match uh, between Kyle Powell and Leap of Faith Church. I ask your prayers for our board of directors as they prepare to meet this Wednesday. And please pray as always for the Leap of Faith Band and for Brad Nixon and Summer Holbrook who produced this worship service. If you have joys, if you have concerns to share, that's what that comment column is for. Please list your joys, your concerns, anything that you might want to uh, have held in prayer over there on the comment column. And if they're, if they're sensitive, if there are things that you'd like to have held in confidence, I will be glad to pray for you holding your joys and concerns in confidence. If you'll just text me, 903 821 4505. Now let's pray. God, this morning we're praying for every leader in every church the whole world over, the pastors, the preachers, the teachers you have called to minister to, to serve your people. We pray that they'll give their hearts to you above all others and keep their eyes upon Jesus. We pray, God, that their faith in you will not waver and that the fruit of the Holy Spirit will grow abundantly in them. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. God, we pray today for those you're calling even now into ministry, that they might hear your voice and respond to your call joyfully and without reservation. We pray today, God, for the one you're calling into service here at Leap of Faith Church as our associate pastor, asking that you be generous with gifts of discernment and wise counsel as decisions for the future of that person and this church are being made. Lead all of these to lift high the cross that all the world might come to know Jesus Christ, Lord of love, Savior of the world, sent by you, God, to lead us all into new and abundant and eternal life. Our God, we ask you to hear this prayer as well as our prayers for all those who've been named today, celebrating joys, experience, and concerns. Hear as well our prayers for those whose names we haven't spoken out loud, but whom we name silently before you now. And hear us now as we pray together in the way that Jesus has taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. As you know, as you've heard, as you, as I think you know, and as I think you've heard, uh, Leap of Faith Church has been searching for the person that God, God has called to be in ministry here as our associate pastor. As part of that process, our board of directors has invited Kyle Powell to be with us this morning, Kyle will be preaching here on here online and in the sanctuary at 11 o'clock as well. As another part of this process, let me introduce Kyle to you now. Kyle Powell has served on staff at First United Methodist Church in Irving, Texas. He served on staff at Custer Road United Methodist Church in Plano, Texas. And he has served on staff at Highland Park United Methodist Church in Dallas. Kyle holds the Master of Divinity from SMU Perkins School of Theology, a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science from Texas A&M. Kyle is single and he lives in Flower Mound, just down the road from us in Flower Mound. I ask your prayers for Kyle as he brings us, uh, brings us the Word of God this morning. I am so much looking forward to hearing him preach today, and I know you must be too. Welcome, Kyle. We're glad to have him here at Leap of Faith this morning. Well, good morning, Leap of Faith. My name is Kyle Powell. I am uh, so privileged and blessed to be with you this morning, getting to preach the Word of God to you. Um, I am excited to be here at the uh, the first service this morning. I'm going to be in person during uh, some of the Sunday school classes, getting to meet some of you and talk with some of you. Uh, and I'll be preaching again at 11 o'clock in the sanctuary. So if you want to come and see me live after hearing this this morning, we are more than happy to have you join us. 
Um, but before we jump into our message this morning, I just want to take a second and pray over this time that we have together, and then we'll be jumping right in. So let us go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come together and share these words that you've laid on my heart with the people here at Leap of Faith Church. God, it is always an honor to bring your word and to be with a new group of people this morning is so exciting and I can't wait to meet their, their faces and to have these conversations with them in person. But God, this morning, I just ask that you would humble both myself and those who are listening this morning to hear the words that you would have them hear today. And then to give us the hearts and the action to step out in faith and to do what it is you've called us to do. So wherever you are this morning, wherever you're sitting, wherever you're watching this, whether it's at home or in person later today, I just want you to go to God in prayer for a moment and ask that God would show you something new today. And if you would, say a quick prayer for me that God would use the things that he's laid on my heart to speak to you the truth and love. God, we love you. And we thank you. It's in your son's holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. So Matthew 14, 22 through 33. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was a long way away from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. Because when, uh, but when the disciples saw him talking, geez. but when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out of fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand. And took hold of him, saying to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. So growing up, I was a big fan of some of the mythical creatures and characters that we hear about growing up, right? Uh, I was a big fan of Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. Um, but I think one of the biggest ones that I was surprisingly a fan of growing up was actually the Tooth Fairy. I don't know what it was about this mythical creature that uh, captivated me so much, but the idea of somebody coming and bringing me money just for losing teeth seemed like a pretty sweet deal. And so I remember one year, as I was maybe like six or seven, I got the bright idea that I was going to catch the Tooth Fairy. And so my parents growing up, they had given us this little white bag that had little drawstrings at the top and you would drop your tooth in, you would cinch it closed and stick it under your pillow and go to sleep. And in the morning, depending on what kind of tooth it was, you would have some uh, amount of money in that por the little purse. And for the most part, I was like a quarter guy, like I just love quarters. And so that's normally what I would find in the morning when I would wake up. And so I remember losing one of my teeth, dropping that tooth in, cinching the bag closed. However, this time I had devised a plan that I was going to stick my fingers through the ropes, tie it in a little knot, and place my hand under the pillow so when the tooth fairy came to pull it out, it would wake me up. And so excitedly I went to sleep that night with that rope tied around my finger under my pillow and I went to sleep and I remember feeling the pull and waking up and seeing something that I wasn't expecting to see. And in that moment, seeing something that I didn't expect to see, it shifted the way that I thought about the Tooth Fairy. What I believed about the Tooth Fairy dictated how I saw the Tooth Fairy. Right? And I think the same is true for us when we think about our relationship with God. That the way that we think about God, what we believe about God, affects how we interact with God. 
If we believe little things, if we believe small, if we believe that God isn't powerful or isn't able to do certain things, that impacts the way that we interact with God. It impacts the way we interact with others. And so this morning, I want to look at a story and challenge us to come to grips and come to the reality of what do we actually believe about God? You see, in the story that that Virgie read a little earlier, where Jesus is walking on water and the disciples see him out there, and at first they think he's a ghost and they're scared of him, but when Jesus says, do not be afraid, it is I, he, he claims to be who they know, and it calms their fears. And then Peter does something that I think a lot of us do when we come into seasons of change and uncertainty and seasons where we're not really sure what that next step is. And we ask for God to show God's self to us. We ask for God to prove that we're on the right track. We ask for certainty. We ask for assurance. And Jesus gives it to him. Jesus tells Peter to come out onto the water, to walk to him, to take that leap of faith and to begin that journey. And in that instance, in that moment, Peter believes that Jesus can do anything and everything that he thinks he can. Peter believes, he has this huge understanding of who God is, that God can allow for me to walk on water, something that I know in normal circumstances shouldn't be possible. But yet here, I believe this big thing about God. But how many of you have had assurances or had this idea that God was with you or God was for you and God wanted you to do something, but the second you began doing that, you took that initial step in that direction, things started falling apart. You reached out and started a new ministry or you reached out and started a new job or you took a chance and bought a house that you thought you could fix up or whatever the case might be. You stepped into something new that you believed God was calling you into and the second you get out of the boat, you start to meet hardships. You start bringing on water. You recognize the winds that are beating against you and you begin to lose sight of what God has called you to and you begin to sink. How many of you have done that? I certainly know that I have. Taken a big risk. And the moment that I meet opposition, I begin to question whether or not it's what I'm supposed to be doing or not. But like Peter who believes this big idea that God can bring him out onto the water, that God will pull him up and keep him afloat, that Jesus is going to be there by his side. When we believe those big things, those big ideas about God, God begins to do big things. And so... As Peter begins to sink, he calls out for God and Jesus immediately reaches down and pulls him out of the water and takes him back to the boat, calms the sea and reassures them. And friends, for us this morning, I think that is exactly what we need to be reminded of, right? That the way that we believe and the way that we think about God really impacts how we interact with God. But that even when we take those leaps of faith, when we're trying to be bold and trying to live out our purpose as God, fearing people, as people who believe that God has called us to love God and love others, that even in the moments where we fail or fall short, that Jesus is right there to pick us up when we're drowning. So for you this morning, the simple thing that I want you to do as you leave today and as you go back into your places of work, your places where you're with your families, with you're with your friends, is I want you to consider what do you believe about God? Because you can't out-believe God. 
your understanding as a person, our understanding as people who are finite, can never understand fully or grasp completely who God is as an infinite God. But what is it that you believe? Who is it that you believe God is? What is it that you believe God is calling you to do? What big thing is this next season of life going to have in store for you? Because I believe when we think about God, how we think about God, what we think about God, shapes not only our faith, but our life. What do you think? Who is God to you? It's the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're glad to have Kyle with us today. I look forward to the opportunity to know him better, and I know that you're looking forward to the opportunity to know him better as well. As we close every Sunday, I invite anyone, I invite everyone who's considering membership here at Leap of Faith Church to give me a call, 903-821-4505. It would be my privilege to welcome you into, into membership here at Leap of Faith. That invitation certainly stands this morning. I am always glad to welcome you into membership here at this church. This morning, I offer an additional invitation. No matter when you first made the commitment to serving God as a member of this church, I invite you this morning to reaffirm that commitment. Many of us have realized over the past two years just how essential the church has been, how essential this church has been to getting us through. We've realized over the past two years how much we've missed the full ministry that our church once could safely offer. As we look with hope to a full reopening of ministry at Leap of Faith in the coming months, I invite those who are church members to join me now in reaffirming our vows of church membership. The words will appear on your screen, and I invite you to join me. As a, member of Christ Universal, as a member of Christ's Universal Church, I will be loyal to Christ through Leap of Faith Church and do everything in my power to strengthen its ministries. I will support my church with my prayers and my attendance and by sharing my time, my talent, my financial and other resources and by, by inviting others to find and to follow Jesus here at Leap of Faith Church. It's my pleasure, it's my honor to serve God, to follow Jesus along with you here as your pastor at Leap of Faith. Uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to all that God has in store for us, working together to serve here at Leap of Faith. I ask God to support you in your intentions, uh, in your intentions of membership, always to God's glory. Amen. Well, thank you for coming to worship this morning. I remind you that the online service, our 930 online service, it's not going anywhere. It's a permanent part of ministry at Leap of Faith. The sanctuary is also open at 11 a.m. if you're in the area and feel ready to come back into the building. You're welcome to do that. Um, our board of directors strongly encourages, for the time being, mask wearing. It is not a requirement. It's a recommendation. Uh, we'd love to see you in person if you're ready to be in the building. But again, the 930 service, it's going to continue. Um, I find that I look forward to it each week. And I remind you of the comment column over here. If you joined us later this morning and didn't check in yet, please leave your name and the names of those worshiping with you right over here in the comment column. If you'd like to support ministry here at Leap of Faith, go all the way to the top and click that button I'll tell you just what to do. And if you're not receiving our newsletter, uh, or if you have a prayer request that you'd like to make and, and have held in confidence, all the way at the bottom of the comment column, there's a form you can use to do that. Uh, it's easily, easily done. I remind you to like our Leap of Faith Church Facebook page. I remind you that we have mylofc.org, a website which is also a place to find out more about the ministry of the church. Well, we've covered a lot of ground here at Leap of Faith this morning. I am blessed to be traveling that ground with you. We are blessed to be traveling that ground together. I hope you have a great week ahead, and I hope to see you back here in worship next Sunday morning. Let me know if I can do anything for you, okay? Again, 903-821-4505. And please stick around and, and enjoy the worship music of the Leap of Faith Band. 
Go in peace, my friends. Go in peace. I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dearest that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Though I forget him and wander away, still he doth love me wherever I stray. Loving arms, do I flee when I remember that Jesus loves me? I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, if there is only one song I can sing, when in his beauty I see the great King, oh, this my song, which we turn to thee be, oh, what a wonder that Jesus loves me, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, I am so glad that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves even me, I know he loves me, I am so glad that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me.